Hello everyone, welcome back to our scenes. In today's video, we will be discussing the remaining two worksheets that is learning sheet 4 and learning sheet 5 for the chapter friction class 8. So very quickly, let's get started. So under learning sheet 4, we have got activity 1 where we are supposed to have an inclined plane and you are supposed to use a ball or a toy car and you are supposed to make it travel on different surfaces. So finally the answers what I have done, I have done with a toy car and uh, you know the distance was nearly 2.7 to 2.8 meters. So you can see the readings here. These are in terms of meters and you can see the average ratings also. So for floor, tiled floor, sandy ground, floor with a cloth and floor with a sack. And then related to this, we have got few questions below. The very first one is, a, the first two are the fill in the blanks. The most traveled surface, tile surface, surface that ball moved shortest distance is sandy ground. Moving on to the next question, third one. What are the factors that causes the ball to move on a different surface by writing it in increasing order? Depending on distance that ball has moved. So the answer here is the friction force. And the increasing order is in this manner. So tile floor, floor with cloth, floor with sack and finally sandy ground. This is increasing of the friction. Okay. So moving on to the next question. If there is a surface where the energy of the ball is not allowed to move. What is the impact on the motion of the object? So the answer is motion of the object will be hindered making it gradually stop. So this marks the end for learning sheet 4. Let's move on to learning sheet 5. Okay so under learning sheet 5, learning outcome 5, our activity 1 is which of the following pictures indicate a collision increase or a decrease in friction. Identify and write. So as you can see here on the screen, we have got the pictures in the tabular column. And then there is a column where we need to fill whether friction is increasing or decreasing in a particular case. So in the first case, uh, vehicle's tire, friction increases. Second one, friction decreases on a carom board by putting the uh, borax powder. Third case, by putting grease, we are definitely decreasing the friction. Fourth, once again, we are lubricating with the oils. Hence, it is decreasing. And lastly, on the fifth case, where the football players, they wear shoes which have spikes. This is to increase the friction. Moving on to activity two. Here we are supposed to take a string. Uh, this is kind of a spring balance uh, experiment where we are supposed to mark the following labelings. We are supposed to tie a brick to the spring balance and we are supposed to note the following things for three trials. One, two, three. So index of the spring balance before the brick starts to move and then when the brick begins just when it starts to move and finally when you start continue pulling it so what will be the reading on the spring balance? So in the first case, it is going, definitely going to show us zero. Second case, we have the following readings for my three trials. And once again for the uh, last column where we are carrying on pulling the brick. With respect to the uh, table, just now whatever we have seen, based on that we have got this question. A continuation of that activity from the above information discuss which one is high and why write your decision so the answer is higher value on spring balance it indicates lower friction force as observed from above data readings are high when the brick just moves shows overcoming of friction force whereas friction is high when the brick is at rest moving on to the next activity Activity 3, 
where you are supposed to look at the pictures and classify them as stationary, slippery, tumbling, rolling, colliding, etc. etc. So basically, we are telling the types of friction. So in the first case, you can see uh, you know they are skating. You can see the skating shoes on the ice rink, and hence we call it as sliding friction because two solids are moving against one another. In the second case where the picture is not clear, it looks as if the boat is moving through uh, you know, a flat surface. We are not sure whether it's water or no. If it is not water, then it's supposed to be sliding friction. But if it is water, it is supposed to be fluid friction. So with respect to this, we have got a question here. From the above activities, which has more frictional force? Give reason. So the answer for that. Skating on ice rink has high friction when compared to boat sailing on water and this is because fluid friction is lower than sliding friction of solids. Okay, so very quickly let's move on to activity 4, last activity under the chapter friction. After this we have got the review uh, your understanding part uh, which I'll be discussing in the next video. So here this will be the last one. So from the following activities, write friction needed or not needed. Write the others following the given example. So to apply brake, yes it is needed. To ride bike, required it's needed. Stop flying, needed. Play for skateboard, play on a skateboard. What That is what they mean, a grammatical mistake, that's it. So it's not needed. Okay, so here our learning sheet 4 and 5 comes to an end. In case if you find my video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.